Good morning, everybody. Dr. Dr. Blum here, world famous bariatric surgeon. Hope you're doing okay. I'm going to come and see you live right now. We're going to do some push ups. I owe you 30 push ups every single day. I started at one. I hate doing push ups, but I love to garden. So, in order to get this garden, check out my garden. This is one part of my garden. In order to get this garden going, then I've got to do push ups. I'm up to 30. 30 push ups, everybody. And I'm gonna talk about today, uh, the COVID update, about why we need to wear a mask after, even if we're fully vaccinated. That's a topic that uh, a lot of people, a lot of deniers um, wanna use as a reason to not get the vaccine. I don't know why they feel like that's even an argument. It's not even interesting. So while we're waiting for some people to come on, tell me where you're watching from. Naisha Thomas on YouTube. Up there in Chicago land, Letitia, good morning. Rhonda, good morning, good morning. Robert Simpson, mask it or, ta or casket, you know, it actually definitely increases your risk. So do me a favor, hit the share button, get some more people in here. Coke, coal, chocolate kisses. That's what I'm guessing. From Boston, Minnesota. Hey, what's up? Be our guest travel playing. Awesome. My life experience from Vietnam. That's awesome. That's where I was born. Good morning from Wisconsin, Chicago, Illinois, Elizabeth. Share the button. Hit the share button. We'll get some more people in here. I'm going to do some push-ups. I'm going to talk about why we need to wear a mask even after being fully vaccinated. Um, I'll keep it calm. I'll be nice. I won't do too much. I won't do too much. Virginia, what's up? Mary Beth in Salt Lake City. Awesome. Texas is in the house. Good morning, Aaron. So um, if you're watching this on the replay, you can fast forward to the three minute mark. That's when I'll get started with my push-ups. We're gonna do some push-ups. Trisha Mata, good morning. Vegas, baby, what's up? So have you ever had people ask you this question? Like why, why, why get a vaccine? Why get vaccinated if I'm still gonna have to wear a mask? Like that logic just drives me nuts but we're going to talk about that good morning rob from atlanta how is it going yep makes no sense what's up trisha Mata in arlington are you a cowboys fan no oh, snow on the ground bill that's not good all right so uh why push-ups i hate doing push-ups i hate to work out i'm skull i'm the skinny asian for a reason i grew up all scrawny but just like a lot of you guys, I've put on 12 pounds during this COVID shutdown and push-ups is not gonna help you lose weight. But what I'm trying to get to is I'm tying a good healthy habit that I don't like to do with something I like to do, which is to garden. And this is uh, what I teach people in my challenge group about um, what they can do to, uh, you know, to kind of build good habits. So before I get to garden, I have to do push-ups I started with one push-up a day, just one a day, just something small, right? I started with one a day knowing really full well I could do 30, but I would have been huffing and puffing. So what's up, India? Good morning, Holly Joe. Michael's also from uh, Arlington, awesome. Tina's from Detroit, Michigan, awesome. So I worked my way up, I'm at doing 30. And then I get to garden today. I'm actually going to head down to Galveston because it's going to be a nice overcast day, 81 degrees down there in Galveston. Uh, my daughter doesn't have school today for whatever reason. And um, I'm going to talk tomorrow about the uh, what to do about your teenagers, about vaccinations. But in the meantime, today, I'm going to talk about why it's important to keep wearing masks, even though you've been vaccinated. But let's start with doing push-ups. I got to stretch real quick. Thank you for hitting the share button, everybody. Love it. Thank you, guys. Rosemarie Galbadon, where you been, girl? Miss you. Hope you're doing well. Lisa Sky, good morning. Good morning, Carla Murphy. Good morning, Linda Harris. Awesome. My internationals are here. Toronto, Canada. Good morning, Tina. Hit the uh, share button for me real quick, everybody. We'll do some push-ups right now. Let's drop in. I'm doing 30. Count me down. Doing 30. Ready? Six, 
nice. Pretty. Getting easier every day. What do you guys think? Give it up for Dr. V. Come on now. Scrawny's little Asian. Come on, give it up for Dr. V. So this is my house, my backyard. We've got this great pool. I'm not too out of breath. Getting used to it. Getting better. Robert Simpson, great job. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah. How did I do? Good, good, nice. So it's getting easier. The idea here is like you have these little small, uh, small activities. So I started with one push up, and then I was like, ah, that's silly. So I did 10, and then I've been increasing it every week. And so my next stop is 32. I feel like I'm gonna, I'm getting close to the end, but we'll see. You know, I don't know, like every single day doing push ups eventually you know like it just it's slow enough that i might not have a top the goal is to get to 100 a day all right <clears throat> thank you guys for hitting the share button i appreciate that proud of you and got my vs state for the covid awesome thank you thank you lorena appreciate that they can be michael's not impressed not bad that's okay trisha good job thank you all right Let's get started. Uh, what am I talking about? Oh, mask wearing. Hi, everybody. Dr. Duck Vong here, world famous bariatric surgeon. I want to do a short video on why it's important to keep wearing masks after. I have allergies. <laughs> That's from getting my nose too close to the ground there. Um, start over. And that's why you have to keep wearing masks. <laughs> in case you sneeze in public and people are like, what the hell? Yeah, try this again. Thank you for hitting the share button, everybody. All right, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Dr. Dr. Bowling here, world famous bariatric surgeon. I wanna do a short video for you to explain why it's important that you continue to wear a mask even though you've been fully vaccinated. So first of all, if you haven't been vaccinated, I would strongly encourage you to do it. I know it's a very polarizing argument especially here in the United States, which I don't understand. There are other countries that can't get access to vaccines. And here we are, this is talking about serious first world problems here. We um, arrogantly, I, I'll say arrogantly, um, you know, we'll go down this rabbit hole of conspiracy theories and stuff like that uh, about not taking the vaccine. And what that, all that does is put people more at risk I'll give you um, an interesting statistic. I don't think a lot of people realize this. And you know, countries like the poorer countries like Africa and India and stuff like that, like obviously they're gonna have trouble getting the vaccines, right? But did you realize that Japan, a economic world power, you know, um, has only two, two, two percent of their population has been vaccinated. Why is that? I mean, it's crazy, you know, for whatever reason, they, they, they just are not rolling out the vaccines as quickly as um, what we have done here in America. And you have to remember, we have the Japanese Olympics, the Tokyo Olympics coming up in a few months. And this is crazy to me to think that they're going to continue. And only 2% of their population has been vaccinated. In the United States today is uh, May 11th, I think. And, um, you know, we have approximately a third of all Americans have been fully vaccinated, maybe almost 40%, which is great, but we need to get to 80% to get this herd immunity. So some people, and I don't know why this is, but if you think about the, the logic here, listen to what they say. They'll say, why should I get vaccinated? Even if, uh, no, wait, if I, if I still need to wear a mask, then what's the point of getting vaccinated? And I go, oh my God, so your ass doesn't die? Like, I don't understand what you, you have access to this amazing vaccines that are 94% effective. And of the 6% who actually caught COVID in the studies, and these are big studies, 20,000 people, you know, got the vaccine, 20,000 people got placebo. And there's still all these questions about, you know, these haven't been studied. That's what the trials mean. That's what they do. Do you not take any medicines? Like, I don't understand their rationals. Okay, so anyway, 
So um, uh, the so of the six percent who got COVID, who were vaccinated and caught COVID, um, none of them were hospitalized and none of them died. In other words, the vaccinations are 100 percent effective in keeping your ass alive, which I think is super important. So then people who just don't want to get vaccinated, they'll say, well, what's the point if I still have to wear a mask? And I just go, oh, my God, because uh, it's still out there, you know. What's the point of getting vaccinated if you can still catch COVID? <laughs> because it's 94% effective in not in keeping you from getting COVID, like the disease. So SARS-CoV-2 is the virus. COVID is the disease. So even if SARS-CoV-2, the virus lands on you in your nose, right, in your mouth because you're smacking your gums, you don't develop the disease, COVID. That's 94%. And of the 6% who gets COVID and gets sick, you know, COVID, hundred none of them die. None of them get hospitalized. But I don't want to have to wear a mask. So ultimately, at the end of the day, all you're fucking saying is you just don't want to be told what to do. You just don't want to cover up that ugly mug. You just don't want to be told like, oh, I'm, I'm like, I'm not sheeple. I'm not controlled. Wow, that's crazy. So, all right, Dr. Vaughn, get to the point. If I'm fully vaccinated, why do I need to still wear a mask? Number one, because coronavirus is still out there in very high numbers. We're, even in the United States, we've, you know, we had an uptick last month, plateaued, and now we're coming back down again. But that's due to the vaccinations. You know, that uptick was the spring break. And Florida, for everyone who's like praising Florida, like, dude, Florida has the high, one of the highest cases in the United States. They've got 10,000 cases at least uh, that have variants in them, right, with the UK variant being the most. And that's only because they test, they only test 1%. They only test the genetic strand of uh, 1% of uh, all COVID cases. So if they tested every single one of them, you'd have a lot more variants. Those are only the ones that we know. So don't be so quick to like sing the praises of fucking Florida. Trust me, man. All right. So COVID is still out there. Their numbers are still out there. You you have a chance of being in a public place and someone someone there has COVID, sneezes or talks to you or sings at you or whatever it is you're doing and you can get it on your into your system, right? Into your nose. Now, 94% of the time, you won't know it because you've been vaccinated. You won't have symptoms. That's what 94% fucking means. You won't have symptoms. You won't get the disease, but it's in your nose and your respiratory system. So now you go, you leave that concert, you leave that bar, you come home and you maybe have a, a grandmother who lives with you or your mom who's immunocompromised or a child who's immunocompromised and or a roommate who's immunocompromised. And now you're talking and singing and yelling at them. You run the risk of spreading this, but you don't know that you have it. Basically, you become this asymptomatic carrier, possibly. Let me come back to this, okay? So, um, so you could spread this COVID, the coronavirus, without realizing you're going to spread it because you're vaccinated. Because the vaccine is fucking doing what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> it's keeping you safe. All right. Um, now, so so so, Doctor V, is that does that mean you're making it's the vaccination is making it worse? Like, no. If you just wear your mask until the numbers go down. So, tip number two is this: it's basically a statistics game, right? Like, it's a it's a it's a chance game. So as long as there's more cases out there in community, you're more likely to do this. You're more likely to transmit it. You're more likely to spread it on, right? You're more likely to catch it. You're more likely to have it in the, in the nose. If you traveled right now to India, you're more likely to be exposed to it. If you travel right now to Brazil, or if you live in Argentina, these cases are really high, so you're more likely to have it. You're more likely to catch it. I mean, it's just a numbers game, guys. And so if you live in... Like if you live in Wyoming or Montana, where there's not that many people, where the populate, you know, like the cha the numbers of, of uh, coronavirus cases is lower, then you're less likely to spread it. But if you live in a congested city like Houston, which numbers are low, Miami, which you know they're 
they, they had one of the highest rates in New York, et cetera, then your chances are higher of spreading it. So basically, when you wear a mask after being vaccinated, you're basically just mitigating your risk. You're just protecting others. You're just you're doing your part and not spreading this virus. You're doing your part. Now, let me address this, because some people were like, well, it's a, you don't have to do it. It's not even a real disease. Like, dude, shut the fuck up, right? Because it is a real disease, and we're not getting past this. Oh, no, the U.S. numbers are going down. Like, Dr. V, what happened to the spike? And da, da, da. Dude, we are ah, we're dragging this shit out much longer than we need to. That's number one. Number two, globally speaking, we are worse off than we were a year ago. We are worse. We are at our highest numbers globally, right? Due to the Indian variant, due to Brazil, due to Europe, due to Argentina and these other countries. Now, this is crazy to think that we have higher numbers, globally speaking, without the U.S. being the knucklehead leader. I mean, back in January, numbers were high, but and, and it was because the U.S. was the knucklehead leader. And we haven't even scratched the surface with India. I mean, the case numbers are so much worse in India because they don't have the infrastructure, they don't have the testing, they don't have the capacity to handle 1.3 billion people. So this is going to keep going and on. And we are a global community. We get medicines from India. We get clothing from India. We get technology from India. We, get, uh, we have people travel back and forth from India. It's 1.3 billion people, y'all. So they sit there and say, well, I don't need to worry about it because that's India and I'm here in you know, Florida and I'm just going to enjoy the beach. Dude, that's not what we do. I mean, that's, that's not how we need to behave, right? So, but if you think about the question itself, why, why should I bother to get the vaccine if I'm still going to have to wear a mask? Like, it just shows you lack of like future planning, lack of seeing the end, like the, the, the goal, the realization, like what, what are you like, really wear this mask for another 12 months and we'll get over this fucking shit, man. Like it doesn't need to be that long, you know, like get your vaccination, wear your mask until we have enough people vaccinated. You're not going to, what am I supposed to wear a mask forever? No, you're not fucking supposed to wear a mask forever. You're an idiot. You sound like an idiot when you say stuff like that. You sound like someone who can't control their emotions. You sound like someone who is just a, a man child. It's there's no difference than that in my five my four year old, soon to be five year old, is like, I want cookies now. I'm like you can't have cookies right now. I don't wanna get dressed. I don't wanna go play. I don't wanna go to school. Like, man, you're gonna go to school. You know? It's just bizarre to me. So and we know ma oh Dr. V, we don't know masks don't work. We don't do know it works. That's the whole reason why we didn't have a flu uptick, right? I'll do another video about the flu because that's another thing that people go, what happened to the flu? What happened to people didn't die? We wore masks and we shut down and we didn't travel. We didn't fly internationally. Good God, people. So very frustrating, but um, I get it. I mean, look at this face. Come on. I want to show off this face too. <laughs> Have you seen my girlfriend, Erica? She's beautiful. I want to show off that face too, you know, but you have to like control this emotion, do what is right for our community, our fellow human beings, you know, and let's get over this. Let's quit politicizing this. Let's quit making this like some sort of um, invasion into your rights. I mean, it, it cracks me up. These people who are like, you, you're a sheeple. You can't tell me what to do. The government's putting a chip. It's tracking you. And they're walking around with a cell phone. The government's tracking you, but give me your cell phone. No, I'm not going to give you my cell phone. Well, that's the best fucking tracking device in the world is your cell phone. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not taking the vaccine. You can't make me. You can't tell me what to do. Really? Because... Uh, as as long as I can remember, if you're watching a commercial on television, they're telling you what to do. That's why Snickers satisfies. That's why, you know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I mean, all these fucking like home mortgages, your home is your best investment. All these motherfucking lies that you buy into. It's just this one thing that you've just decided I don't want to do. 
and you can't tell me what to do. Comment if you agree with what I just said there. If you listen to all of these other people, if you listen to the your friends and family who don't want to get the vaccine, who don't want to wear a mask, it, and all the arguments they, they talked about. I just did a video on how it doesn't change your DNA. I, it, you do, we do know what's in the fucking vaccine and, it, you know, and all this stuff, right? It all boils down to you can't tell me what to fucking do. That's it, right? There's no logic. There's no science. There's nothing about what they say. Thousands of people have died. No, they have not. 10,000. So, so people go like, why should I take the vaccine? You know, 10,000 people have died from taking that vaccine. First of all, no, they have not. They have not. But 600,000 Americans are about to die. See, they, they, they want to talk about the, the tent. They believe. And I, let, let's say they're right. Let's say they're right, which they're not. But let's say they're right. 10,000 people have died from taking the vaccine. Fine. But then they don't want to acknowledge the fact that 600,000 Americans have died. Three million people worldwide have it. Oh, those numbers are inflated. Those numbers are lie. Those numbers are lie. But your ten thousand number that you just made up in the thin air, that's somehow like we're supposed to believe that. So listen, at the end of the day, you just can't have it both ways. You know, like I want to get back to normal. I want to travel. I want to see the world. I have a bucket list of things to see: Greece and and you know the archipelagos and just like everywhere like i want to travel but at this point we have to do what we can do to get over this okay as always i will uh edit this video put it up on my youtube channel i hope you'll share it and um i hope this has been helpful i hope you know it, it makes sense what i said love you guys have a great day